Now, I like to cite myself and add spice to the conversation. George Bernard Shaw. So let me cite myself and add spice to the conversation. Monologue, rather. This thing will be on courage. Mother courage, that brave muse. Let us listen. Courage is not coined from believing the world is good and heavenly, supervised by a castrated benevolent lord and blinding yourself to all the cruelty and bestiality. That is a one-sided approach of infantile projections. Paths well trodden are never a test of one's character. It is biting through rotten meat of the evils of this world, being exposed to the worst and forging a strong nobility out of it, despite the witness bestiality. The cry of the naive is the possibility of confrontation to the courageous and making something of felt into pure gold by manifold decisions, strong stances and acts. Courage is never tested among the things we know. It is the prudent and resolute action among the things we don't that we never experienced before. We gather courage throughout life and let's be honest, the sum of what made us may also break us. We are strong at times and weak at others. Such are the rules of change. With age, we may grow weaker, ill, our bodies and minds don't serve us like they did before. Our nerves may be wrecked, yet there, there something is preserved. Non omnis moria. The sum of our strongest, greatest moments is making our genius, our spirits, such as the law of metaphysical transposition. We write our genius throughout life. Trifle affairs of people who never lived, never forged giants out of their genii, their spirits, their junonas. It is the moment in which deification meets the mortal that is immortalized, not any other. When the world of immortal ideas and notions meets the microcosm of a mortal human being, there it finds solace and resolution. Such soul is heavy, and if we choose to believe in gods, the divine, they are never forgotten nor wasted. To take possession of the beautiful is to sacrifice the transient things for grand ideas of powers of cosmos, individuated masks of gods and goddesses that always stand in tragic contrast with the world of civilized cowardice and on the other hand that of nobility, called naivety in the eyes of practical fools that confuse the innocent strength of grand, splendid ideas with their own mud of cynicism and feces. Thank you.